Hello everyone, this is that Catholic Gamer Dude, and I'm here to talk a little bit about uh, what's actually been going on here at the Casa de Catholic Gamer Dude. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, what's going on here? I know you're all thinking like, hey man, it's been like a month or something, uh, where's the video man, you slacking? And yeah, that's a little bit true, but mostly it's been distracting, so shut up. Anyways, that's a little aggressive, isn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where my mind is. It's like 11 p.m. here, and I'm, in case you can't tell from the nasally stuff, I've got a little, I've been coming, uh, trying to overcome a cold. Yes, that's it. Those are words. Uh, trying to overcome a cold that I had gotten from the little guy who brought it home with us. We've been sick uh, at least once a month uh, from this uh, since January, I think it's been, mostly because you get all those diseases, and like, it's been a a bit of a mild winter here, which we thought we'd have dodged a lot of the diseases, but uh, unfortunately, he's in daycare, so he gets just a little bit of everything, and he just loves to share everything with us. So that's been the first part as to why things have been kind of late running around here. Uh, speaking of health, uh, as far as the little guy is concerned, for those who have been following the channel a little bit, um, uh, the people who have been following know that uh, he's been... It was way back in... Uh, last year was uh, diagnosed with a potential tethered cord. He's two and a half years old, and uh, his neurosurgeon said that he may have a uh, tethered cord, which is kind of like uh, just basically like an attachment to his, uh, you know, to the lower of his back. Uh, and so what it is is that all we've seen so far are a bunch of MRIs, and so we haven't really had anything conclusive. And so we've just been doing like test after test to kind of confirm or deny if he has any uh, actual issues, because basically, if it weren't for the fact that the doctors have told us that there might be something going on, we would think nothing is going on. Uh, developmentally, he's been doing fine. Um, everything else, I'm pretty sure we've scanned every inch of his little body at this point and haven't found any other issues. So we've been kind of on pins and needles about the whole thing. We're going to have another appointment with another specialist late in May to see what he thinks, because his previous specialist is retiring. So even if they were going to do a surgery, then she wouldn't be the one to do it. So it's going to be someone else. So we'll meet him, and then we will decide what we'll do with that. So that's been kind of uh, preoccupying our minds. Uh, but the thing that's really kind of sapped my energy lately has been work. And I want to lay the groundwork a little bit. The job that I have right now has been great. You know, I really like doing it. Uh, for those who follow some of my other LPs, I'm a software developer. And this job has been relatively stress-free, and I've been with this place for about four and a half years. Unfortunately, beginning with this year, there were a lot of projects that kind of collided with each other. And so now I've been in the process of basically having my schedule dictated to me. I don't know how to explain it other than that uh, without getting into specifics. So just to say that uh, the real big issue uh, has been that from the minute I've gotten in to the minute I come home, I'm pretty much always doing something. And that's a pretty big departure from what this job had been up until this point where there was a lot more balance to the day and some time to actually breathe. So, and during that time to actually breathe was when I would work on some of the preliminary stuff for a lot of the discussion videos and other things like that. So I know this is turning into a laundry list of reasons why I haven't put together videos, but um, for those who have been the longtime fans, they know that this is, channel has always been a passion project and not a, uh, you know, thing that I've, you know, it's one of the first things to go when life gets in the way, unfortunately, and that's just where life is at the moment. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, it's been kind of rough going since the beginning of this year. I've been a bit disappointed. Uh, the good news is, is that the channel still seems to go strong whenever I release a discussion video, and I feel like that the new every other week release schedule has been helping out a lot, and I've also decided to push the discussion videos to the following Monday. So that way I can actually have the weekend to work on them. And that seems to help out a lot in terms of the quality and just my stress level of trying to get them out and get some decent quality on the videos. Because like I said, if it gets to be a rush job, then I feel bad when a clear editing mistake gets put into the video. Uh, what else? Uh, one more thing on the list of uh, things that I should have been doing is that I realized I know that the discussion videos are kind of the bread and butter of this channel. I really like doing them. I feel like they add a lot to the discussion in general, and people really seem to like them. They're the most popular videos on this channel, and they don't really need a lot of promotion. So 
I've been trying to focus on that. And if, you know, my schedule gets a little tight, which it has been these past few months, I predominantly try to focus on those. Uh, the downside to this is, is that obviously the LPs disappear. And I actually found this has a detrimental effect on my ability to produce the discussion videos. So let me explain just a little bit. I finally realized why YouTubers actually do multiple projects rather than just stick to one or two shows. Not just because they have to churn out a bunch more videos, especially for because they do it for a living, but because it helps them to kind of focus. And bouncing from project to project allows them to kind of stay fresh and to work on something else when they get tired of one thing. And that's kind of what I've been finding with the discussion videos is that it's really hard to maintain focus when you're only producing a video once every two weeks. So what I've been thinking of doing is, is that I'm going to reinstate the Let's Plays and treat them as kind of a uh, first class citizen. And basically what I mean by that is, is that I am going to try and devote more time to them and try to spread things out a little bit more because I found that if I'm producing a video every day or every other day, then that increases the likelihood that a discussion video is going to come out on time because it puts, it gets me into a rhythm of actually working on the channel uh, every night when I can do it, as opposed to, it's a whole lot easier to say, you know, after you release a discussion video, you're like, oh, I got two weeks, I can goof off, and then, oh, I'm late, you know, it's it's like college all over again. You just put it off until the last minute, and then all of a sudden you have no time and you miss your deadline. So that's the long and the short of it. So bottom line is I'm going to start doing the LPs a little bit more, and then hopefully that will kind of flow into more discussion video stuff, and as soon as I can get my health back, uh, things should proceed a little more smoothly. And that's my long and rambling vlog video. I hope you enjoyed uh, that and the uh, Enter the Gungeon footage in the background. The anything else? Uh, according to my little scripty thing here, that's it. So again, thank you guys very much for your patience, for your support. Uh, other than the setbacks, even though I haven't had a video in the past month, the last few discussion videos have been really good. I have had to do like almost no promotion of them and you guys have loved it uh, it's gotten some of the highest views short of the videos that i whenever i post them to uh new advent so it's been really good and i really appreciate the the feedback both positive and any i've seen very few uh criticisms uh but even with the the critique they've been very helpful so i very much appreciate uh anyone who's dropped a comment and you know keep it up and tell your friends, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help out a lot. It seems like it doesn't matter, but it really does. And it shows up in the analytics, and I really do appreciate all your support. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.